Let's come to the methodology. The Prophet said والسلام, that every Prophet warned about the Jal. And the Prophet knew والسلام, warned about the Jal. But I'm going to tell you something that no one has ever said before me. The Jal sees with the left eye, he's blind in the right eye, it looks like a bulging grip. The Jal sees with the left eye, he's blind in the right eye, it looks like a bulging grip. But your Lord is not one eye. Between his eyes on his forehead is written the word kafir, kafir, kafir. And every mu'min will be able to read it, whether that mu'min is literate or illiterate. And so Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu will be able to read it. Kafir. But Tony Blair won't be able to read it. You know he was just convicted for war crimes right here in KL. So we sent Tony Blair to the eye specialist. Check out his eyes. Why he cannot read this kafir. Oh, when you sending Tony Blair, send George Bush also with him. <laughs> and then the report comes, nothing wrong with their eyes. Well then how come they can't read, but the mu'min can read? We say, and this is our viewpoint, and you don't have to accept it. Is that when the Dajjal sees with the left eye, this is religious symbolism at work, that he is seeing with external sight. And when he is blind in the right eye, this is religious symbolism at work. And he's internally blind. And that's why the kafir cannot read. Because when the mu'min reads, he's not reading with these eyes alone. He's, returning, he's reading with internal sight. And did the Prophet not say, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. I wish I had another one hour to deal with the subject. He said, Ittaku firasat al-mu'min fa'innahu yanzuru bin nurillah. Fear, the firasa. The firasa is that hikmah or that wisdom of the believer which is intuitive in nature and founded on spirituality. Fear the intuitive, internal, spiritual insight or wisdom of the mu'min because when he sees, he sees with the nur of Allah. And so this hadith is speaking about epistemology and about spirituality. The absolute imperative of pursuing the spiritual quest so that you'll have internal nur with which to see. And so that you have a chance of walking in the path of Khidr alayhi salam. After all, it is Surah Al-Kaf of the Qur'an, which is the Surah of Ilmu Akhiru Zaman Paraksilas. And Khidr alayhi salam is different from the rest because you'll only meet him where? You'll meet him at Majma'ul Bahrain. Majma'ul Bahrain, the place where the two oceans meet. Which two oceans go to Imam al-Baydawi and his tafsir? The ocean of knowledge externally acquired. The ocean of knowledge internally received. When these two oceans of knowledge come together, as they did in my teacher of blessed memory, Mawlana Dr. Fadlur Rahman Ansari Rahimahullah When these two oceans come together in an individual, in a scholar and are harmoniously integrated only then do you have the scholar who can take all the pieces together and solve the jigsaw puzzle and deliver to you the big picture